I'm Brian Thompson with Sapphire Scientific. Uh, today we're going to go over the basic operations of the 1200 direct drive unit. But before we do, one of the most crucial uh, things to know about running a gasoline unit is to be aware of carbon monoxide poisoning. Uh, in your manual it clearly states, warning, operating this unit uh, only in a well ventilated area. Exhaust fumes contain carbon monoxide, which is an odorless and deadly poison that can cause severe injury or death. Do not run this unit in an enclosed area. Do not operate this unit where exhaust fumes may enter a building, doorway, window, or vent, or any other opening. You arrive at your job site, keep the vehicle running, put the vehicle fully in park, Set your parking brake completely. Turn off your AC. Right, this Sapphire Pro 1200 is outfitted with a 120 gallon water pond, fresh water supply. The uh, water pond will supply water to the front of the machine via our auxiliary switch, which must be turned on. If you're not utilizing the water pond, a factory fill hose will be sent with the machine. One end will go onto your garden hose at the front of the home. The other end will go into the front of the machine. Make sure you pull back on the spring collar. Insert the male end. Push in and listen for a click. Once it snaps fully in place, you're ready to go. Before we go into the house cleaning, we're gonna go through the startup procedures that are numbered on the front of the machine. We've already talked about having adequate water supply. Then we're going to show you how to connect your solution line your vacuum line to the front of the machine and if you're going to operate this with the doors closed we'll show you how to put it through the through floor ducting system we've gone through our setup procedures our wand is connected with our solution line or vacuum line now remember you will not see pressure on the gauge until you trigger your wand so we're going to trigger our wand set our pressure and also, likewise, you will not see any temperature on your gauge until you trigger your wand. So you'll trigger your wand, set your pressure, then go ahead and dial in your temperature to the exact temperature of your cleaning. nice advantages on the Pro 1200 is that we have a hot water valve here uh, for our chemical jug. If you were going from upholstery cleaning at 150 psi to say carpet cleaning at 3 to 500, instead of having to have your wand here to key it to see the pressure, you can go ahead and open up your flow valve and actually set your pressure through your flow valve. Just make sure you turn that off once you have your pressure set accordingly. I'm going to show you how to set your chemical flow. It is described on the front of the machine. In order to have the flow though, obviously we've got to turn on our water, our pump. We'll go to prime, which will then, you'll see the bobber shoot straight to the top. Make sure all the air bubbles are out. We'll go from prime to on. That's when we have to trigger our wand. Then go ahead and set your meter. You will not see the bobber move again until you trigger your wand and that's when you will set your exact gallons per hour. Our shutdown procedures are basically exactly the opposite of what we did on our startup. They're clearly labeled here on your front panel as well under shutdown and daily maintenance. We'll go ahead and go from vac and pump to straight vac. Make sure you turn off your auxiliary switch if you're running your water pond for your transfer pump. 
uh, go ahead and turn your engine speed to low. Shut off your chemical feed. Then go ahead and disconnect your vacuum hoses. We'll lube the blower as in step two. Then make sure at the very end that we go ahead and empty our waste tank into an appropriate dump site. Make sure you check your uh, local municipality laws and regulations for dumping wastewater.